Hi guys, I'm Sarah and this is I Swear I'm Stitching. This is floss tube number 29. Today's August 23rd. Thanks for stopping by. New, old, thanks for being here. Cheers. Um, first, I just have to say ugh, thank you so much for all the, ugh, the kind words you guys uh, left me on my last floss tube, um, DM me on Instagram. Um, I don't know. It left me speechless and um, thank you. I'm glad that you um, not only put up with me, but you enjoy putting up with me. I'm sorry about all the glare on my glasses from the window. Lost my words. Um, oh my God, you guys, I'm so hot. When I get hot, my brain melts out my ears and I can't think. Oh, I'm so hot. Okay, so thanks for coming back. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for the wonderful, wonderful comments. I adore all of you. I wish I could be friends with every single one of you guys. Um, if you could put up with me in person. I'm either really quiet or I won't shut up. There's barely an in between there. My camera's cockeyed. I think I keep looking this way so that the glare's off my glasses, but then it looks like I'm talking to someone over here. So I'm going to try to go straight. <laughs> All right, sorry guys. Um, I feel like I touched a lot of stuff this week. I mean, it's incredibly busy, but I still feel like I touched a lot of stuff. So first we will start with, I'm at my table, so everything's like, I'm trying not to touch my table a lot because every little touch makes everything shake. But I apologize for that. Oh my God, can you see me, my I sweat, I, I mean, I guess I could just be, pretend that it's a glisten, a glow. Honey, it's just sweat. <laughs> oh, if I could see without my glasses, I wouldn't wear them because my nose is all sweaty. I thought we had to look without glasses. But I need them to see. So anyways, shut up, Sarah. My first quote unquote finish was the August part of the ABC Dinosaurs um, so along, no, stitch along with Clouds Factory. And this is on 32 Count Lugana and Kiwi by Color and Cotton. I forgot my little whiteboard. Oh, well, that green is actually pretty, yeah, it's a little darker in person, but it's pretty good. So this week was Q and R. Oh. Quasitosaurus and Reba, I didn't call it the Reba dinosaur, Rebaccasaurus, Rebaccasaurus. Look how cute the little purple one is looking at you. Oh, see how the color's all wrong. What right about, oh, there we go. That's a good color. Washed out, look how cute they are. And then as a whole, Oh, it's coming along so beautifully. I love it so much. Again, I'm so glad I decided to do the letters and the names. <clears throat> Especially the names, because now I know what they are when I look at them later in life. And like I said, when I wasn't going to do the letters, the phrase is going to look childish, but I don't think it looks childish at all. I mean, it could be a child or it could be a 40-year-old woman that will hang in her living room so she can see it every day and love her dinosaurs. 40-year-old woman's me. Oh, I love it so much. Oh. Sometimes I wish I lived in Siberia. Oh. Sorry, guys. It's going to be a lot of this. All right. Now on to whips. Like I said, I feel like I touched a lot of stuff. So it's top of the lip. pile is pumice. Which... I don't have the printout in here. Let's see if I have it on my iPad. So I slouch in my chair. This iPad's so old, I keep forgetting it doesn't work like my current iPhone. I bet I don't have Thomas. That would be too easy. I don't have Thomas, but everyone has seen Thomas, right? The turkey from, um, is it not Forgotten Farms? 
was tricky. Thomas. Yep, not forgotten farms. Everyone's seen it, right? The turkey, the with the like pilgrim hat. Oh, I thought I took it out of the Q snap too. Oof. When I get hot, I told you, when I get hot, my brain melts out in my ears. So I'm gonna take it out of the Q snap. But while I'm doing that, I tell you, it's on 36 count linen by Fortnite Fabric in Moccasin. I absolutely adore this fabric. I think it is perfect for Thomas. And I'm not sure why I decided. I just felt like I needed to stitch on him this week. I just had the notion. So I'll show you the full. Look at that fabric. Isn't that beautiful? Again, that's Moccasin from Fortnite Fabric. He's so handsome. I love him and his little, just his little burst of blue or turquoise. Oh, so what I get done on him? I got, I got no folding abilities, no folding skills. Oh my gosh. <gasps> my glasses are gonna fall off my face. Oh, it was so nice yesterday. Okay, so when I get done. So I worked on his head and his face and his hat and the key and a little legs, the top of the heel. So he's on my whip go board. So I think I have him ready for like 10 days. I think when he gets called, <clears throat> I should be able to finish him because it's really just, <clears throat> excuse me, filling in his body and that little hill. There's a black border that I am probably gonna leave off. I don't think it needs it. Once I finish with him in the hill, I'll, I'll decide for sure, but I probably won't do the black border. I love him so much. Oh, sorry, I was reading a text from my son. I have to respond to him. <laughs> and I don't pause, you guys know this about me, I'm sorry. So just ignore this personal conversation between me and my son. I think about 30. There we go. <laughs> He's at school. So there's Thomas. Oh, I love you, Thomas. God, I love him so much. I definitely hope to have him finished this year. Like I said, I have 10 days on him on my whip go board. Whatever month he gets called, I'm pretty sure I can finish him. As long as I don't, don't do the black border, which I don't anticipate doing. And then I worked on Black and Sky, which will look. Again, I have, I just, you know, make copies. I'm a highlighter, so I just have working copies. But I do have an online picture of that. So that's Black and Sky by the Primitive Needle. That's what it's gonna look like when it's done. Oh, this was my unicorn pattern that I got a year ago or so. Oh, I love it so much. Like many other people, on that sun, I'm not doing the eyes. I'll just fill that sun in when I get to that one. But it is on 18 count Ada by Bestitch Me in just a gray color. What is with me and I taking stuff out of the Q snaps? She will look hers. Oh my goodness, and this is a big piece of fabric, so it's all wadded up in there. Boy, the pattern off there, too. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna move my needle minder. So I'm almost done with, see a big piece of fabric, my first block. Our pleasures are born but to die. That block. Right there. So I have the outline and the black to finish. And then there's like little, what is it, little vases? Something right there. And then that block's done. And I'm contemplating going down to the sun one or across to the lady, across this way, to the lady at the tombstone. I'm just using uh, the DMCs. 
Sorry for all the shaking. I love it so much. I love this piece so much. I love Brandy's fabric so much. <sighs> I'm, like, I'm turning into like a real big fan of 18 count Ada. This one is not as um, like my Hawk Run Hollow. Uh, the 18 count's a little bit tighter. So I'm doing one over one on that one. And this one I'm doing two over one. And it can get a little bit dense. A little bit of a pain in the butt to stitch but overall I'm very happy with it and um, doing one thread would have made it fainter so I'm glad I'm doing two so that it's darker <laughs> sorry I'm zoning out there looking at it so pretty so I have this on my whip go board twice more half a block each so so I'm trying to figure out which block I think like this is all right that's not a lot of stitching in that block. I did just like in one day, I outlined this part. I realized not that much, but still, it's not a lot of stitching in that block. So I'm thinking I may, I can't decide which ones, because if I go down, I'm gonna be filling in that sun, so that'll be heavy stitching. That's full st stitched in. But then on her, there's that tree and that tombstone's really big. And then her, she's fully filled out. So I'm not sure. I, you know what? Actually, I do know what I'm, I'm going to do. Because I've been working on Rolodex Morning Sampler. And it's got a tree in it. I'm kind of sick of trees. So I think I will go down to the sun. Because I don't want I don't, I don't to work on a tree. <laughs> well, that's if it gets called for next month. If it doesn't get called for next month... By the time it does get called, I might not be tired of working on trees. Shit, I don't know. We'll see how I feel <laughs> whenever it gets called. I'm so indecisive. Okay. So then, I'm gonna put that. Keep it all together. Kind of. And then, this one is Hello Winter. I love this one. That's, I mean, to be fair, I love them all. It's my stitch them, right? Hello, winter. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I didn't mark off my books like I normally do. This is by Plum Street Samplers. I'm not sure why I had to look that up. I know that. That's like one of my favorite designers. I love Plum Street. Hey, good news. This isn't an acute snap. <laughs> and this will look like when it's done. Oofed. Not pretty. Which one did I already do? It? Hello Spring? Hello Fall? I want to do all of them. I have a Thing my husband just finished uh, taking paint, a hangy, hangy thing. My husband just finished taking the paint off of. I'm hoping to do something where I can interchange these for the seasons. Look at that big red flower. That's my favorite part. Oh, I love, I love Plum Street. Okay, so this is on 32 count Belfast Linen in Nocturne by Picture This Plus. I didn't do a lot on it because there wasn't a lot to do. It's almost done. Look at that flower, you guys. Oh my God, I love it so much. Oh, yeah, I'm a little undecided. You can't really see hello, even in person. Well, unless it's like the sun is right on it. Hello kind of blends in. So I didn't do the winter part. I may... Ah, I can't see nothing. Oh, that flower is so pretty. I love it so much. What is that? It is... Uh, uh, Licorice Red by Classic Color Works. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite reds. Oof. Look how cute that is. And I just subbed a few things out. Um, mainly DMC, the Licorice Red for the flower. I use it's uh, just a random dinky dye, a newsprint, I think. 
for the face. And then I use the classic color, it's shabby sheep for the, I'm using that for the sheep because I feel like it's appropriate. And then I just used um, B5200 for the snowflakes, just so they'd pop some more. I didn't want them to be the same color as the sheep. But I may, see how the hello kind of blends in? I may take the hello out and do hello winter in the shabby sheep color. Shabby sheep. Or maybe the red. No, I don't think the red. The shabby sheep. I think the white. That's what I'll do it. That feels appropriate. Hello winter, snow. Oh my god. Fan break. Oh, I need a Jason Momoa type. Standing in the corner fanning me. Sorry, it's in my little dream world there for a second. Or Henry Cavill. That'd be good too. Anyways. There's my shabby sheep. I have him on my whipgo board for um, a finish and I will definitely finish it. I just have to take out the hello, do hello winter, and fill in my sheep. That's all I have to do. He's done. I mean, I probably should have just finished him, but to be truthful, I didn't want to go on my whipgo board and erase it and put something new in. <laughs> so I just stopped after I filled in the little curly cues in the sheep and said I will save that for when he gets cold. Which seems silly because he's so close to being finished. I could finish him easily in a couple days, but I'm not gonna. Whew. Two more things, you guys. Look at my hair. I got sweaty hair. The title of this video is just gonna be sweats a lot. Mm. Is it fall yet? I'm so over summer. I only really like it when I'm swimming and I have not been able to swim a lot this summer. That, that a cute snap. <laughs> I honestly didn't think I had, was it three cute snaps? I thought I had like two. That's one more than I thought I had. Anyways, this one is, what, oh, what the hell? You guys hear that? Is that a bird? I don't know what that is. Anyway, it's Rolodex Morning Sampler. It's this was uh my one of my whip goes for this month, number 25, which worked 10 days. Uh, if I work on it for like three minutes today, I'll work on it more than three minutes. Then I have finished my whip go for the month. But I may just go ahead and keep it out and keep working on it since I'm plugging away pretty well on it. Take it out, it's cute snap. This is on three to count Belfast linen by Picture This Plus in Storm. Oh, should I picture what it looks like when it's over? Over <laughs> when it's over. When it's done. You know what? I look at it. I really wish I had not followed the DMC conversion on one of the colors. Because in this picture, it's like a blue, purple, gray variated. Mine's a straight up purple. Wish I'd gone for more gray. But oh well. <laughs> Put it away like I was going to show you what it was. Okay. That's by Bendy Stitches, Des Bendy Stitches Designs. And I did change it. If you remember, um, I had I'll Crawl Home to Her. I had just the H because I was going to change it to him. Well, fabulous viewer. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That's just crazy. I knew I'd remember it. Sorry about that. She suggested I change it from he to the. That way it could count for both of us. So I had to move a word, move to... Uh, two over to fit V in so it's a little closer to a headstone than I wanted it to be but it's fine so I changed it to V so now it says no grave can hold my body down I'll crawl home to V thank you bad stitch crazy oh the color is so everything is so washed out but yeah so I finished 
this part, which is so tedious. It's pretty and I love it. I'm, oh shit, sorry, but it's so tedious to do that. And then I finished that. Um, all that, started that, the words. I'm saving this half of the vine on the side for the very end, because like I said, it's tedious and it's not my favorite part. So, yeah, we're plugging away on that. I think, like I said, I only have to work on it one more day for it to be done for whip go. But I think I might finish out, before I stop working on it, the gate and the rest of the weeping willow. So. Gate that at the top started in the rest of the weeping willow. So, you know, not a lot. I mean, I could do that in a couple of days, depending on how busy work is. That was my whip go. So, yay. That was all the things I worked on. <sighs> I did, I lied. I worked on one more thing. I tried to work on one more thing. <sighs> <sighs> I don't like it. I'm done with it. It is the Buttons and Beads by Mill Hill, The Outdoor Adventure. Oops, sorry. I love it because my husband and I, we don't kayak. No, we don't canoe. Whatever. Wait, I take this shut. We kayak. So I thought that would keep, that'd be cute for us. I could hang it up, you know, for us. There are so many color changes. I don't hate working on perforated paper, but I hated working on this perforated paper. I guess I like smaller Mill Hills. I mean, it's because there's just so many color changes on this big one. I'll have to try another another one at some point. I think I might actually have another one. Because you know I don't hate big ones. I did that big ass Satsuma uh, Raven and I loved it. It doesn't have a huge amount of color changes, and this has so many colors in it. So this is what I got. Nope. <laughs> this is what I got. And then I tried to put more stitches in it today, and I hate it. I mean, look how raggedy the perforated paper is. Can you see how raggedy that is? And it's just so many color changes. I mean, it's gonna, it would be so pretty. Even look at that setting sun. Oh my gosh, look at that setting sun. But I hate it. I don't wanna do it. So, do you guys wanna do it? I know, I just talked shit about it. <laughs> Doesn't mean you won't love it. So, I have that. I make, like I said, I make paper copies. So I made a paper copy of it and I'm just highlighting that. So this copy is all shiny new. Got all the beads in it, the button, the threads I didn't use. As you can see, I used some, but it lists the DMC in there. So if you run out of this stuff, just go through your stash and find the right DMC. Um, I have perforated paper. I'm not sure if I have this brownie color of perforated paper, but I'll, if you want, I can cut a piece to size and stick it in there for you, too. So, if you want this, I'm going to give it away. B18, because um, I need to get your address. I don't want to be a creeper. Um, I don't want to go to jail. All that fun stuff. Don't say giveaway free. Yay, all that fun crap. You know the drill. And just use the word adventure. <laughs> Tell me about an adventure you took this summer. Just say hi and write the word adventure. Just write adventure. It doesn't matter to me because I want someone else to have this and enjoy it because it is beautiful. I just hate it. I just hate it. Trashing that. Blah. Okay, so that is it for my stitching. Now we will, um, I have one haul, but it is the greatest haul of all. I, when, when am I going to fly away? I don't know. <laughs> so you guys remember the Punch Needle Primitive Magazine, the summer issue? Remember how I said there's a few things in there I'll stitch. 
At least one, I think. I haven't marked. Oh yeah, at least one or two things in here. But do you remember me lamenting about how much I loved the Star Spangled Shoal? That punch needle and how I wished it was cross stitch because I loved it so 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 much. Well, my friend Kaylee, hey Kaylee, offered to turn it into a cross stitch pattern for me. So I contacted Michelle L. Palmer of Michelle Palmer Artist on Etsy, and I asked her if my friend could turn it into a cross stitch uh, pattern for me. I would every time I post a progress picture on Instagram or here, I'll of course credit her because it is her design. Kaylee just very patiently and kindly turned it into a cross-stitch pattern for me. Now I don't, <laughs> I'm ordering ink. I don't have ink and my work printer only prints in black and white. But there's a cross-stitch mock-up of it. Kaylee made no cross-stitch for me, right? I'm so excited. Oh. I'm so excited. And I was talking to her, and I think for the color, like, you know, the red, the white, the blue, the gray, I'll probably use DMC. Excuse me. But that whale, the big mama jama, jama, that beautiful, beautiful bastard, he is getting specialty thread. I want to find specialty thread that has the gray and brown. I really, really like whatever they used. Is it just, let's see the CS. Color variations and I'm trying to look at her thingy and it says CS4515 Paris and CV4000 Espresso. I don't know what that is. Color variations and Coloris Floss? I don't know what that is. I will find a very pretty uh, fancy floss amongst my stash. If I don't have enough for that big bad boy, I will just buy more. I will splurge on a fancy floss for him. I'm so freaking excited. I love whales. I'm just, oh, you guys. It is ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you, Kaylee. If you guys don't follow her, she doesn't have floss tube, but she's on Instagram. Oh gosh, I'll link her. She does the most amazing stitching and she has not been stitching for long. I've been stitching for 30 something years and she blows my ass out the water. She does these beautiful full coverages and then she dyes this beautiful fabric for these projects. You guys have to check her out on Instagram. It is, she's doing one of a girl eating like a frog prince. I just, oh my gosh, I love it so much. It's, I will link her. Follow her on Instagram. She is A, the sweetest, and B, the most talented. She is amazing. And she has a shop. Like I said, she dyes fabric and does sewing, and so I'll link that too. Okay, so that's it for stitching, I think. Oh, after watching Bobo Jesse stitches a while ago, uh, she mentioned um, a Facebook group called Fandom Stitching. Um, they do challenges, and I've never really been part of a challenge group, just Whipgo. So I finally, when I was bored one night, looked into it and joined it. And this year they're doing Star Wars. Yay, Star Wars. Um, so I'm waiting to be put on a team and then I'll see how that goes. It may be too much stress for me. I mean, I know it's not like a mandatory, you must participate in these challenges, be part of the group. But I don't wanna make stitching not fun, but I do like challenges. So I used to be part on Ravelry of a um, challenge group called Nerd Wars. And I was always on team um, Space Alliance, you know, Star Trek, Star Wars, Stargate, Farscape, all those fun space shows, Battlestar Galactica. And you basically cross stitch something and then you link it to a prompt. So it's kind of the same. So I'm looking forward to that and seeing if it's as fun as that was. I used to have a lot of fun with that. 
so I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'm waiting to be assigned to my team. Anything but the Sith. I'll take anything but the Sith. I don't want to be Sith. Okay, anyways, I think it's Sith. Is that the bad one? They have Bounty Hunter, Rebel Alliance, Jedi, and I think Sith. Okay, so that's it. If you're just here for the stitching, oh no, I did some sewing. I've been working on my son's quilt like a little, a few squares at a time. I'm just making the half square triangle. So yeah, background fabric, other fabric, sew two pieces together, cut it down the middle, press, and you have those units. So I've sewed a bunch together, but I haven't cut or pressed them or trimmed them. So there's just a bunch. Like I said, I try to do about, I've been trying to do five a day or so. Just uh, haven't been in the mood to sew, but. And I'm working on it. Then once these get done, I sew them into a block and then sew the blocks into, you know, how quilts work, into rows, the rows into make a quilt. So done that, no knitting. That's it for crafting. So we'll talk about life. So my husband and I celebrated our 21st wedding anniversary, the 18th. <laughs> he got me these earrings because I had a gold pair of these before and one fell off into a lake last summer. So I was bummed. So he bought me new silver ones and a new rotary cutter, which is good because the one I currently have does not close all the way. So I'm always at risk. It's got this like just the tiniest lip of my blade is always showing. And those things are sharp. Like I took a chunk of finger out one time, not recently, but oof. They hurt, they are sharp. So we got my new rotary cutter, so I'm super excited about that. I got him hot sauce. <laughs> I thought we were keeping it simple and he shows up with two gifts. <laughs> Anyways, and then I made us a uh, cinnamon roll cake. That was nice. I sent my kid out to pick us up food. That was nice. <laughs> I love having kids who drive. Um, see, my daughter started high school. Technically started high school last week, but all her classes are online college classes which didn't start till today. So she took her first class today, which is um, American Sign Language. And then my son started school Monday. He, they're both in, both seniors. She goes, she goes to the high school and he goes to the JVS. He's in the automotive tech um, program. So he's super excited because he friggin' loves it. He could, he, I said, buddy, last, the night before I said, wake me up before you leave for school so I take a first picture, first day picture. He woke me up at 6.30 and asked me if I still wanted that picture. And I was like, buddy, you don't even leave for like an hour. But I rolled out of bed and took the picture. And then he was ready to go. And on their first day, I let them buy lunch. Or I used to buy them breakfast. Now they drive, they buy themselves breakfast. And he said he wanted to get up early, enjoy his breakfast, enjoy his drive to school, get there early, say hi to his old teacher, his small engine teacher. And so, yeah, he was super stoked. So that's... It's always nice. I mean, he hated school until he got into JVS. And that's just, this has been the perfect place for him. Uh, what else? Our, my bonus child moved up to Cleveland to start college. Her classes start next week. We took her out to dinner. She got to choose. She uh, chose a sushi and hibachi place. And she was living her best life because uh, with her meal, instead of getting a salad and soup, she got two soups. She loves clear soup. And then she, our waiter was like on, like he was getting it. Like she was going on and on about yum yum sauce. He brought her like three bowls of yum yum sauce. Her noodles were a swimming in yum yum sauce. It was a little insane. And then we, you know, said our goodbyes. And we're gonna go up there in a couple weeks because the first week is Discovery Week and the second week is her actual first week of school so when that ends I'm taking my kids and a couple of her friends up to visit her to celebrate her first week of completed college because that's who I am I celebrate everything actually the smaller the more I like to celebrate it the big things I'm like yeah I like to celebrate the small things and I'm like it is your first completed week of college we are coming up there and we are taking you out to dinner so that's what we're doing and then I'll bring her whatever she may need like she forgot a step stool she's like five foot nothing so she forgot her step stool for her dorm and uh i'll stock her up on water and snacks and stuff like that but i just like to celebrate everything my kids first day of school i make them cookies and my, well, my son doesn't like cookies i make him uh oreo bark 
the first day of school, they get to have breakfast. After the first week of school, they get to go out and get, buy themselves lunch after school. I just celebrate a lot with food, but I just like to celebrate. I like to reward and make, make, I don't know, I just like to celebrate. That's how I am. I like to share, I like to give, I like to celebrate. That's what I do. I've already planned on making my um, daughter's friends who are graduating this year quilts to take with them to college. So, gotta finish my son's quilt. Work on my work wife's quilt. I joined a mini Allison Glass minis, mini quilt, mini blocks thing. And then I have Braden, Mackenzie, Isabella. So three people to make quilts for. The other person that's moving that quite possibly will be going to the same college as them I don't know him very well so I may just make him a pillowcase <laughs> we'll see because I don't want him to be left out everyone's got like you know quilts and from me and it's I don't know I just I don't want I don't want him to feel left out so we'll see but yeah that's it pretty much in a nutshell nothing else going on uh work sucks you know same old same old if you really, if you like a job, I envy you so much. My husband loves his job. He's a coal miner and he loves his job. It is kicking his ass because it's an hour plus drive he's not used to. So he's very tired and we're getting nothing done after work. Like our exercise is non-existent. He was the one who got me off my ass riding bikes, kayaking. So without him, I'm not riding bikes. I'm not kayaking. <laughs> so, oh, update on the arms. No update. Haven't heard back from the doctor or the insurance yet, but it's only been a little over a week, so. That's nerve wracking. <laughs> That's it guys. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for putting up with me. Um, thank you again for the wonderful comments. I appreciate it so much. And don't forget, if you want it, just write the word adventure and it's all yours. Okay guys, have a good one. Bye.